Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Satchel here. Hi, hello, if you're new. <laughs> um, and if you are returning, hey, welcome. So today, what's going on today? Let me turn this music down. Oh my God, we're dating us. All right, today I'm going to do my nails. Yay, I'm going to do my nails. I know, it's like my, my little treat that I give myself. I hate this stuff. I don't know if you know this intersection. Can you see? I don't know if you know the intersection here. It does not have a filter like for go past school road. It's like you have to take it. So I go push out in a little basket here so I come. I go push out in a little basket. And oh, somebody give me a blight. Come now, be. Oh my God, these people know oh, yourself. I'm gonna take it. Fuck you. Yeah, anyways. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Let me. I'm so sorry you have to see that. You have to be a very aggressive driver. You have to be a very aggressive driver in Jamaica because you're not gonna get no bly. You just you just not you just not reach no way. And the people that move body up on the road are running off on the road. Okay, like you gotta be an aggressive driver. If you can't drive a Jamaica, you can drive anywhere. Best believe that. If you get your license. Whether you bought it or you drove for it, if you get your license in Jamaica and you drive in Jamaica, you can drive anywhere, anywhere. Anyways, but that's not a point. So what I was gonna say is, yeah, I'm doing my nails. So that's like my little oh, so much potholes. That's like my little reward, <laughs> my mommy reward. Um, you know, because old habits die hard, and sometimes I feel so guilty because there's always gonna be like a need because doing my nails is a want besides me I shake up so but the roads you know but at the end of the day like I have to be selfish in some way because what to care of me about me right so this is my local piece so like I was saying I'm on my way to do my nails um I was so excited to do my nails but then I realized I'm broke <laughs> Broke in the sense that what me want do me can't afford. You get what I said? I wanted this really nice design that I just happened to stumble across on Pinterest because when me do my nails, so like when me do my nails, no, like I research my idea for next month and I found it. And then we see one other influencer that I love and adore, and she had like a similar style. And I even messaged her. I was like, Yo, I'ma steal that. Like I legit have it, you know? And she was saying, Go get it, girl. And I was like, Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Sorry, I'm away. I can't cross on my intersection. Who does that? Yeah, so, um, um, yeah, so being that this is not my nail tech, and for this style, like my nail tech, like, I know my nail tech price. So, for certain um, shops that you go to, sorry, you know, I'm so much. For certain shops that you go to, um, they will charge extra for certain things. Um, they will charge extra for certain things and if I'm not if if I don't pack in the day like I'm not gonna yeah I'm gonna put my out when we can't reach it so I, and I feel like this nail shop is one of them places that will charge extra for the do look razzle dazzle whatever and I don't have a stack <laughs> I don't have a stack cash I got a budgeted amount so you know what I'm gonna say you know what fine I'll just do something nice and simple and classy so I found a cute little design. So that's what I'm gonna do. Afterwards, me and my sister, um, we're gonna go on the road because she wants to go get a shoe. Oh, we can't park in our handicap spot here. They didn't even leave enough space for the handicap parking. Um, yeah, so my sister wants to go and get a shoe. So my reverse one. So when you reverse, if you watch your side, your side, your side, your side, your side. Mm. I have the reverse cam, but honestly, I'm trying to use it as much because Maria realize that you will get dependent on it. So when we try to use, we try to use my mirrors them. I match like the other guy mirror, so we'll make sure I'm gonna go back too much. Right. Yeah, it's not small care, so that's fine. Uh, anyways, yeah, so yeah, so we're gonna go sovereign for go buy her shoe. 
and we might just have a little coffee date oh my god we might just have a little coffee date and then i think me and roger are supposed to do something later spend a little mommy daddy time um because you gotta make time right so even just a little teeny errand with my sister and the coffee date like you gotta the little things that you have to do together you gotta just make that time count you know because you know, all the time you got money for the way you want to do or go where you want to go so make every little error and every little trip something um anyway so i'm in the parking lot over at loj because of course we're park over here so i didn't walk over here because i'm not gonna park on the streets for them to come tow my car or for them to come clamp my car so i feel like this is semi-secured parking oh don't watch the bros i was trying to laminate it <laughs> i was trying to laminate it oh hey, look so I put some little like, ear dye in there. So I'm supposed to wipe it out. I was using the baby wipes because I'm actually come out of the house with it. I never remember wipe it out. So I was. Uh, anyways, when I wash my face, it will fade somewhere, not look so blocky. But yeah, don't watch that. It looks so awful. I hate when eyebrows look blocky like this. Anyways, so I'm gonna go to my nail appointment. I miss my nail tech so much. Like, my dad, for you come by, like, my no one say, I'm blessing to flow. She didn't think about me. I'm going to pray to God, I'm blessing to come back over here. I'm going to come back over here because I can't. I feel like I'm settling every time. Um. Anyways, so I'm going to go. Let me bring my glossy gloss. Hey, let me put on my Sauvage. <laughs> this works, okay? It smells good. It actually smells just like it. I'm gonna spray up with the wanted, but you can never smell too good. Mm. Just like oh, there's no such thing as overdressing. I used to think there was, but like there isn't. It's not my fault if you don't want to show up and show up. You get what I said? Like shit. So I'm gonna walk with that. So I'm gonna go. I ain't no spraying anything, so we're not gonna open the boat with the phone like that. Cause it will get snatched. <laughs> So, parking us up, and then we just took a walk through the plaza. So it's early for them. Most shops in here open ten o'clock. Oh, Burger King is open. Here, let's open. Here, let's open. So we're just gonna get to where we need to be. And oh, for everybody who wanna know, this is LOJ, the token little. I want to say mall in Spanish town. If you know, you know it's a meeting girl for kids after school and other sorts. And it has the little shops and, you know, supermarket and whatever. Uh, but yeah. So we're going to open the streets now. I'll see you in a little bit. So bye bye, French. Even though I love my French, I was going to do back French, but I'm going to do something like a French again. Little, little knockoff 
knockoff crux i'm about a century a strip 500 dollars. it's neutral tone so i thought it would look so cute because my crux crux that i have it's kind of heavy i mean i try to see if it's coming on to marshall can't afford no other crux right now so I'm gonna run back now, gonna meet my sissy because I told her like 50 minutes ago that I was wrapping up. The girl did take her time. Why do I like to look so? Is it smudged? Hold on. I think it's probably just the lighting. I'm going in the car. Oh my god, it is so hot. Tony, you know, buy me the car or something, the phone stand thing. Remember, your sister's not working. <laughs> oh my god, I bet you 11 o'clock. Anyways, so can you see? I don't know, I have the back camera. The struggles, but can you see? It's so cute, right? Let me flip the camera. The AC at outside at in the car at the seat at everywhere at like it just at 34 degrees. That's not even 34 degrees. That's hot. But anyways, um, so this is the nails. I think I showed you all ago. It's pretty simple, right? So it's pretty much it's pretty much a French. It's pretty much a French, but you know, just a variation of. I showed her the nail style that I originally wanted, and she was like, "Oh no, the other girl would have to go there." At least she was honest, you know, but that's our feeling. And normally the other girl mother go to, but she wasn't there this early, which I'm grateful for because I just wanted to do it and go. But um I had a feeling she wouldn't be able to. And then we actually because I'm fucking going to the other side of the cars. We know it got expensive. When I showed her, because it has some little sculpture things in it or whatever. Hopefully I can do it for May month end. Because uh, not me. Is it May? Yeah, May month end because Riley birth Riley's birthday is in June. And for my kid's birthday, I love to celebrate myself as well. And it's don't read into it. It's not deep, but honestly, I celebrate myself like I feel good too on the day. Like wanna go big ups to me, mommy, yeah. Um, Reza Bean. Giving birth is a traumatic experience. Like to so all the mothers and who's watching and if you want to comment you can comment like giving birth the scariest thing beautiful thing <laughs> most important thing probably that you'll ever do in your life or contributing to you know creating life or whatever yo like that shit ruined me wrecked me it took a lot out of me emotionally physically da 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 and you can die like it is dangerous it is dangerous to give birth it is dangerous like when you look on the science behind it what your body is go i'm driving okay what your body is going through i don't know how you survive you know the blood loss just like the trauma to your abdomen especially if you do a c-section like mommy they gotta cut through some layers and shit but then even if you don't do a c-section like you're literally sacrificing another story but um yeah so you know giving birth is a traumatic experience like and each one of my kids birth was different for me um different <laughs> that's a different story in itself but i'm just saying like i'm so grateful you know when we go up to summer stuff so yeah so for their birthdays i celebrate me a little bit because i'm so grateful i'm so thankful that you know we are both here we are safe we are healthy like yeah i have to give myself a little big up like that shit ain't easy so not because you see people popping out one two three four five six kids it is not easy like if you understood the birthing process if you understood what it means what it does like you literally would worship the ground that we walk on that's probably i'm probably exaggerating but no no i'm serious like i'm gonna know like 
I don't know like sometimes you have to go through some things for you know for really appreciate someone or something or whatever because for me all right for me growing up I was not close to my mother my grandmother grew on me and grew up my granny like I had resentment towards my mother um you know she had my mother and I wanted my mother and whatever like I didn't disrespect her or anything like that but like I did not feel that closeness that connection like you know it was my grandmother for me it's when I got older it's when I got oh, we're very much alike so we, we, we clash every minute but it's when I got older that I really um, started appreciating my mother more understanding you know the, the more of an adult I became so I talk like Ota Yui in a Yui but then when like when we leave Yui definitely yeah what, what, when I was pregnant with my sons really but really see it and I think motherhood brought me closer to my mother like even though I'm gonna chumsy chumsy cause I'm gonna touch a feeling them weird eh? people will say I'm hard I'm harsh I'm cold I'm crass whatever but that the love is there and the appreciation is, the appreciation is there for my mother so having children unfortunately take that long that's what really made me appreciate and like the love of my, of my mother just grow whatever because Miss see now way they have forgot you stop sitting up on the light no brother yeah Miss see now sorry Miss see now when my mother they have forgot through like physically emotionally and then she was a single mother and my with my son I was a single mother I mean I said bumbo clad like wow like if me never have a mother oh like of course you don't do it you know you don't get done because God a God but if it weren't for my mother oh God I found this up but anyways but if, it, if it weren't if it weren't for my mother I don't know you know like she gave me that start there like I don't know so sometimes every now and again when I will feel some type of way or whatever like I normally post on my whatsapp there's a poem that we had to learn in high school for CXC um, and the name of the poem was for my mother may I inherit half her strength like that's the whole name of the poem for my mother may I inherit half her strength so sometimes every now and again I will post that like when I feel some type of way or whatever I may tell you it's so true because my mother up a chunk she should do what she do and go through what she got through like she off a chunk right so yeah man so yeah because of that, i'm gonna big up myself too like yeah my kids are gonna like get the best of treatment and stuff for their birthday but like mommy's gotta be here yeah mommy have to sort out as well like never fix up and clean so on whatever like yeah i mean if i get a gift that would be nice but um i'm just gonna I'm gonna treat me nice to on the day and whatever and it, it's it's more it, it comes more from um, a sense of gratitude so it's more you know me and the lad me to myself and uh, whatever um, but I, I do celebrate me like on their birthdays I do celebrate me like a special prayer I always go to God because of course you are grateful for life grateful for the life that you brought in the world and all them things and whatever so be like oh mother come up to look at that Look at that. What are we doing for Mother's Day? What are you doing for Mother's Day? Y'all do not feel mother. Or if you're a mother, what are you doing for Mother's Day? I don't normally do anything special. Um, I'm a mother every fucking day. I'm a mother every fucking day. Right? I'm a mother all year. <laughs> I'm a mother all year. But anyways, um, I don't normally do anything special for Mother's Day. But, um, and the Lord has bless me, you know, like, I want, I guess that's every child's dream. Everybody wants to talk their mother when they make it or whatever, and I'm going to do it. The Lord has bless me, I'm going to do it. It's going to happen, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Because she, she, she do her thing. As much as we can, but she do her thing. She do her thing, and I want, I want to pay that back. I don't have to. But I want to pay that back, and I want to pay that back. But anyways. What's that aim it is? Oh shit. Got too deep, too quick, too. Anyways, but um, yes, um, I'm almost back home. Go back at my sister's. I'm gonna pick her up now. And then we're gonna go into wood and hopefully have a coffee date. I didn't even put any decent clothes on. 
why you see why you always just put yourself together when you're going on the road i mean i look fine um but you know <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do so i'm in at a scheme now so i'm gonna pick her up uh yeah sing a little bit and tell me if you like my nails <laughs> Uh, if you care about that sort of thing, I care about that sort of thing. Like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, to make a drop, like, my nails, obviously, it's gonna be the thumbnail for this vlog. But, yeah, my first time wearing lavender. Look at you. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in a minute. Oh! Make sure you like this video. <laughs> if you've been watching it so far, make sure you like this video. Not safe. Um, I don't normally drive that. It's a little bit. We're back at the house. Um, she didn't get the shoes that she wanted. Um, and she ended up buying Wendy's. I must admit, I got me a fries. Well, she got me a fries. Um, and immediately, um, Ronald checked me saying, "What happened to your diet?" It's not necessarily a diet diet, but we don't eat on Thursdays and Tuesdays. We try to fast. Um, it is more so of a self-disciplinary kind of thing versus of fasting, trying to lose weight. Um, I don't know how it came to us, so we started doing it, but it really is to try to get some discipline. Like, you know, start small. Start small, start from somewhere. There you go. Yeah, so um, back home now, it is so hot. Like, I had to take my shirt off. Just, you see what I mean? Um, and yeah, it looks like we're going to go on a little mini weenie date together. Um, been wanting to get out of the house together, but every time we get out of the house, it's like to do little errands and thing. And yes, we make fun out of those little dates, the errands, going to the supermarket or whatever. We love doing that together. We love being together, but... But realize, ask daddy to fix it, please. Here, ask daddy to fix it. Yeah, but you know, we still need to make time for each other, so that's what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna go on a little mini day. We're going to the movies. So, we're going to Sunshine Mall. No, we're going to Sovereign, which is the Pomer Sovereign. They have a carib there. Best thing that they ever did was get. A movie theater for Portmore. A Portmore too big for not of certain things. So the air is really getting more and more developed and I'm telling you this is where it's at. Like Kingston is just so I don't know, Kingston just pack like <laughs> I need some football this week. Cho. Yeah, Kingston to me is just becoming so congested. Um people are looking for something new, people are looking for housing and you're getting more space of course in St. Catherine because no space is really there in unless I want townhomes you want or like an apartment complex or whatever so we're going to go to that um, mall sovereign and we're going to go watch a movie together so most likely y'all be you know a little teeny weeny get ready with me I don't know what I'm wearing yet but I'm just so excited to come out to the house and do something couple <laughs> you know man I am I'm so calm I just realized this is the same brand as that. It's contract off. Brand is called Flow. They even like. So when you're done, still not going back. That's right. Yeah. She's ready. Okay, so I was trying to fix mine here. Try um. Putting some soft curls as well as so they just come home. So I'm giving her a bath so she'll have some splash time. And since we're gonna leave them run at them, Nana, I have to make something for them to eat before they go around. Anybody mm -hmm. scratch me? Why am I man shave off your eyebrow? It shave off, it looks like back in the day. Oh my god. 
You know normally make you shave up your eye. I don't uh, Oh my gosh, like you know when I look at your face the whole time, I just see it, my hate skinny eyebrow. Watch it. I hate when eyebrows look that skinny. That's why I purposely don't make nobody shave my eyebrow. Cause them uh and Lisa are the same thing. And can you go baba? They make it maga. Watch it someone, yeah. Yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna make some little chicken nugget sandwich for them. So they can take around so yes, you know there's a lot of prep that goes into mommy and daddy time so yes i first of all i like getting ready without kids so now i'm gonna drop them off first and then just have the luxury of getting ready and bop to some tunes and something not that song <laughs> so we're for we're for juggle it you know look too bad enough so we're for juggle it so I'm making their little sandwich. Everybody's supposed to clean. When people almost want to wear it, they want jeans, pants, I want white shirt, and I keep it simple. It is that time. Same thing to the eyebrow when I wash it. And it looks so, I look a bit better, right? I love this. Yeah. I don't want to buy you from Michael Bill. Huh? Yeah, when I move it. Get down. Get down and watch your tablet. Alright, so I'll probably see you again when Memphis Time clothes because it's a little yeah, it's a little bit hectic to Yeah. So I'll see you when I'm closed. Oh we can't talk. Again. So this is what I'm wearing. Just a white shirt. I love this shirt by the way. Sheen, of course. Um, and the reason why I love this shirt is because of the bag. It's like open, it buttons up. I don't know if you can see, so. You know? I don't know if you could see. Uh, whatever, but yeah. It just, I love, but I don't know, I think back, exposed back is like the sexiest thing. Not even legs, not boobs, not belly, but yeah. So it's giving mom, it's giving casual in my little chunky white slippers. I'm actually tired, really hot. Um, so we're gonna go now. Riley, let's go. Find a place, like, don't even talk about it. But we made it and we're here early and this is the Portmore Sovereign Center. Should have done a video. Do a video. No, which one wanna go yet? We need to go on with Uchi. You wanna go to one of them? We can steal the one and then go to one of Uchi. We can steal that just for that one more together? Yeah, we can steal that because it's Uchi. Maybe we'll do the Uchi run, we can't go. No, it's an early movie and then you drive to Mudo. You know what I'm doing? Early movie at 5 o'clock. Let's see how it's helpful game. Thanks. Wi-Fi? No Wi-Fi? Mm -mm. Our national anthem represents the beauty, pride, strength, and resilience of Jamaica and our people. My name is Agent Sasko. Please stand.
car. Huh? If you want it start up. Oh. Oh, my leg. You're so happy. <laughs> This is the typical Jamaican date to the movies and then the lady, the lady, right? Man, so she give me a very obnoxious thing that if we were watching movies at home. That's just how we roll. Anyways, so I was trying to wrap up the vlog with Reggie's being rude, okay? So it is the end of the night, the movie has finished, it was really good. The camera doesn't the movie right now, but the movie was good, it was... It was okay, like, I can't, I can't go into that. But anyway, so we're gonna get something to eat at KFC! Anyway, we're gonna go for the kids, and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you next time. Oh, can I get a large fries and a biscuit? Mm, I'm loving this. So, may I talk about customer service? We're out of food and share our conversation. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't get to record it from the beginning, but me said like we're ordering. So me said about customer service, we're ordering our food and she's having a conversation. Not a work conversation, she have a conversation, not a back. And I'm almost certain when you go up there and get your food, the order go wrong. Like something not go off. Wait, we just said Pomer KFC? Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Pomer KFC is not so bad. The one out of Britain. If I didn't want a Spanish town, that definitely fuck up. But. Eight o'clock. Hey, uh, why am I do this? Why am I do this? What's wrong with my neck? What is wrong with my neck? Anyways, um, <laughs> we turned on Chelsea in the back, but I don't remember if I had wrapped up the vlog yesterday or a little date night. Um, of course it went well. We love the movies. We're movie fanatics, and we love to eat. And y'all know Jamaica has the best KFC, so. You go KFC, it's, it's the typical Jamaica date. I want to say a date on a budget, like a movie in KFC is like dinner and a movie. Like it doesn't get any better than that. Like, yeah, <laughs> we're pretty chill over here. But no, like just, just like I was saying, they did mess up the order. And I'm sure, I don't know, all Jamaican in the comments, like when they can't reason and like, eight times or seven times out of ten you go kfc they're gonna mess up the order like you got to check your box like if you don't know that by now like you have to check your box anyways we did check the box like you know we just move like two little steps from the window and check the box and it was they messed up something but it was something where we could add you know so just never turn back but it was it was one of them things as to the sovereign center so yeah i i wish i could have recorded it more you know but the sovereign center so they have two sovereigns you know the one in portmore and then they have the one in town the og one where everybody know um the one in portmore managa like really kind of just uplift the place like a bit something for you to do in a saint catherine portmore um if you feel in spanish town um you know you know i forgot in town it has like the cinema there um you know uh obviously different outlets the little eateries like there's a restaurant there and then other little places like winkings and whatever there's like a devano's ice cream place and another place that sells gelato if you like the fancy one um they got a lot of stuff over there um at sovereign in portmore really convenient really nice spot you know if you just want to chill hang with friends or a little date nights or whatever i wish i had gotten to like show you more of it but manala like, like those infrastructure i met like the real estate prices go up which is good for me <laughs> and anybody who wants to sell back but for people who are thinking about buying houses like it's obviously it's gonna you know but poor more it's coming along there's a lot of new plazas malls in that area that has developed like within the last year not about this year like last year 
but anyways i just want to close out the vlog thank you guys for watching if you made it to this far if you like what you see leave a little thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you kind of like what's going on so far you can you, know, you can subscribe it don't cost you nothing you can subscribe um until next time i'll see you